Good morning and welcome to our daily reflection. Looking at the set readings for today, the line without defence in court jumped out at me. It jumped out at me because it gives me a chance to dig out again a story I've been very fond of for many years. But the reading is from Psalm 1. How well God must like you. You don't walk in the ruts of those blind as bats. You don't stand with the good-for-nothings. You don't take your seat among the know-it-alls. Instead, you thrill to God's word. You're a tree planted in Eden, bearing fresh fruit every month, never dropping a leaf, always in blossom. You are not at all like the wicked, who are mere wind-blown dust, without defence in court, unfit company for innocent people. God charts the road you take, the road they take, leads nowhere. This is the word of the Lord. Now hopefully not too many of us will ever find ourselves in court, except maybe at some time in the future, maybe one in, as in this story. It's a position we all hope never to be in, but who knows, it just might be true. After living a decent life, my time on earth came to an end. The first thing I remember is sitting on a bench in a waiting room of what I thought to be a courtroom. The doors opened and I was instructed to come in and have a seat by the defence table. As I looked around, I saw the prosecutor. He was a villainous looking gent who snarled as he stared, stared at me. He was definitely the most evil person I have ever seen. I sat down and looked to my left and there sat my lawyer, a kind and gentle looking man whose appearance seemed slightly familiar. The corner door flew open and there appeared a judge in full flowing robes. He commanded an awesome presence as he moved across the room and I couldn't take my eyes off him as he took his seat behind the bench and said, let us begin. The prosecutor rose and said, the prosecutor rose and said, I am the devil and I'm here to show you why this man belongs in hell. He proceeded to tell of lies I had told, things I had stolen, and in the past where I had cheated others. He told of other horrible perversions that were once in my life. And the more he spoke, the further down in my seat I sank. I was so embarrassed I couldn't even look at anyone, not even my own lawyer. As he told of other sins that I had completely forgotten about. As upset as I was for him telling all those things about me, I was equally upset about my representative who just sat there silently, not offering any form of defence at all. I know I had been guilty of those things. I had done some good in my life. Couldn't they at least equal out part of the harm I'd done? He finished with a fury and said, This man belongs in hell. He is guilty of all he have charged, and there is not a person anywhere who can prove otherwise. He sat down with a flourish. When it was his turn, my lawyer first asked if he might approach the bench. The judge allowed this over strong objections from the devil. He beckoned him to come forward. As he got up and started walking, I was able to see him now in his full splendour and majesty. Now I realised why he seemed so familiar. He stopped at the bench and then turned to address the court. The devil was correct in saying that this man has sinned. I won't deny any of these charges. And yes, the wages of sin is death and this man deserves to be punished. But he took a deep breath, turned to his father with outstretched arms and proclaimed, However, I died on the cross so this person might have eternal life and he has accepted me as his saviour, so he is mine. Jesus continued, His name is written in the book of life, so no one can snatch him from me. The devil still does not understand this. This man is not to be given justice, but rather mercy. And as Jesus sat down, he quietly paused, looked at his father and replied, There is nothing else that needs to be done. I've done it all. The judge lifted his mighty hand and slammed the gavel down. And in the following words, bellow, following words bellowed from his lips. This man is free. The penalty for him has been paid in full. Case dismissed. 
and as Jesus led me away, I could hear the devil ranting and raving. I won't give up. I'll get the next one. I asked Jesus as he gave me my instructions on where to go next. Have you ever lost a case? Jesus lovingly smiled and said, Everyone who has come to me and asked me to represent them has received the same verdict as you, paid in full. Paid in full. Some might scoff at this story and say that's all it is, a story. It might well just be that, but again, who knows? It might well be something similar to what waits each of us when our time comes. I want to finish, not with a prayer, but with words from 1 Corinthians. When I was an infant, I gurgled and cooed like an infant. When I grew up, I left those infant ways for good. We don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist. But it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. We'll see it all then. See it as clearly as God sees us. Knowing him directly as he knows us. But for right now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us towards that consummation. Trust steadily in God. Hope unswervingly. Love extravagantly. And remember, the best of those three is love. Now, whatever you're doing today through this week, do it with a smile on your face. Bye for now.